Good morning, Titans. Today is Tuesday, March 7th, 2017, and you're here with your host, Amanda. Please stand for O Canada. Titans and happy Tuesday. Today's gospel reading comes from the book of Matthew. And Jesus said to his disciples, In your prayers, do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. So you should pray like this Our Father in heaven, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. And do not put to us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Titans, this is when uh, Jesus teaches us the Our Father and there's no need for a lot of words. So I'm going to keep this prayer just short and announcement short. That at the end of the day, God knows what we need and what we want. And he just wants us to say that to him. He doesn't need long explanations. He just wants to hear what's genuinely on our heart. So you can join me in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I just ask that you give our school community the strength to live out this Lenten journey. And I thank you for the gift of confession. And I ask you that we become humble and always seek out your ways. I offer all of this up in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And on that note, uh, we welcome Father Al and Father Lucio, who are in the school today this morning, for, available for, for confessions. You will hear some announcements uh, being called by your grade, and that's your cue to head to the chapel. Teachers, I will send students back with a, uh, a slip. Um, but yes, everyone's welcome to confession this morning. Thank you. The Crime Stopper Awareness Club will be meeting in Miss Chanelli's room, room 160, at the beginning of lunch today. There will be an eco-team meeting on Thursday, March 9th, at lunch in the conference room 158. Please bring your lunch and your ideas. Remember, new members are always welcome. There will be a music ministry practice today at lunch in the music room. Please show up at the beginning of lunch to practice lots. You can bring your lunch. Trials for the badminton team will continue today and tomorrow. Seniors will be at 3 p.m. and juniors will be at 4 p.m. If you are interested, please pick up a permission form from the phys ed office from Mr. Moore in room 238. The weight room will be open this week during lunch on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. See you there. Are you interested in helping with a community lock-in or lose-it campaign? On March 25th, the OPP will be going door-to-door to door in the town of Simcoe with Lock It or Lose It magnets, attempting to promote awareness of thefts from, mor from motor vehicles. If interested, please give your name to Michelle in guidance. Attention grads, if you saw the grad hoodie for 2017 on Friday and liked it, it is not too late to order. Please see Ms. Nepweerig in the main office by 3 o'clock p.m. tomorrow to place your order. 
today, today, <laughs> attention grade 12 students, the Richard Walker Memorial Bursary application has arrived. The bursary is open to any student of a Norfolk County High School who will be pursing post-secondary education in either agricultural or environmental studies. Come see Michelle in guidance if you would like an application. A quick message from the cafeteria. Today is Customer Appreciation Day. Come into the cafe and enjoy. Thank you, and we appreciate your business. That's all for me. Now over to a promo. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right. Morning Titans, um, <laughs> just want to let everyone know that the grad hoodie announcement, the grad hoodie orders are due today, uh, not tomorrow. So they're due today by three o'clock if you still want to order a grad hoodie. Just a reminder that we're starting our uh, Reaching Out Lenten campaign. Uh, we started it yesterday and we're collecting cereal boxes. That's why I have Mr. Norman here with me. He's going to be here the whole time I'm talking, eating a bowl of cereal to encourage you to bring in cereal for the, um, our Lenten campaign. How's it going, Mr. Norman? Very good. Awesome. Very good. Awesome. I uh, also want to remind students that uh, I spoke to some bus drivers last night. Bus drivers have to or the buses leave at 3.05, so please be at your bus by 3.05. They've said, the drivers were telling me that they've been waiting an extra few minutes for students that have been running late. You have to be at your bus by 3.05 because it's throwing off all the buses when they go to their transfer sites and their timing. So please get to your bus on time. Also want to remind everyone uh, that tomorrow, or sorry, Friday is our three on three basketball tournament. Uh, pledge forms need to be in and registration forms need to be in by tomorrow. Tomorrow is the deadline to sign up. Each player needs to register. Uh, you must have $25 in order to pledge. Uh, teams can be made up of boys, made up of girls, or they could be co-ed. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so please get your uh, team in if you want to participate. If you're not in the basketball tournament, you are to be in classes on Friday. I uh, just want to end with a few shout outs. First, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Norman because he's doing a great job eating the cereal. Also, want to give a shout out to um, uh, across the province of Ontario, it is uh, Social Worker Week. So, I want to give a huge shout out to Jerry McClellan. We're very lucky to have a full time social worker here at the school. So, if you see Mr. McClellan, wish him a happy Social Worker Week. Also, want to give a shout out to McKenna Demarest. Uh, she won first place at the Norfolk Music Arts Festival uh, last Friday with her solo performance. So great work, McKenna. We're very proud of you. And finally, want to give a shout out to the boys' hockey team. Uh, they went to Kawasa yesterday. Uh, they played three games. They lost the first game three to two in overtime. They're actually winning the game with 20 seconds left. Uh, but St. David's was able to score to tie up the game. They went into overtime and lost. Our boys then won the next two games. They won 3-1 against Gray Highland Secondary, and then they won the third game 5-3 against St. James. So with those two wins and a loss, the boys were able to qualify for the Quasa Semis, which is today. They played 11 o'clock today against Aaron. We want to wish the boys the best of luck. That's it from us, Titans. Hope you have a great day. Hope you're full, Miss Norman. Remember to bring in your cereal. Have a great day.